everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. As we travel around the world, we get to occasionally get to go to game stores, local game stores, and I like to show some of them off. So today we're taking a look at a store in Indianapolis called Family Time Games. Uh, we just recently went to Gen Con and had a chance to stop there. Where we met the owners Shane and Sandra who were wonderful people, but I wanted to show you the store and so you can see if you're in this area. I thought it's a fantastic store. And so I took some video of things in the store, so let's take a look at that. So in the store itself, um, it's, it's a fairly large store. You can see here there's some really beautiful chess sets that it said do not touch because they're pretty nice chess sets. So I thought about it, but did not. Anyhow, um, the store has a lot of open gaming space, and they told me that um, maybe 5% of the store is like collectible games. So there's, you know, of course, magic, and you can see here hero click stuff. But the vast majority of the store, oh, and of course, dice towers. Everybody needs to carry dice towers. The vast majority of the store is going to be is miniatures and board games. I also want to mention that this store was one of the retailers at Gen Con, so they had a whole bunch of stuff that they took to Gen Con and back. So the store was in some transitional mess here as we came in. Not a big deal as they move stuff in, but if you see boxes and ladders and things like that, that's why. So there's also RPG. You know, every store has different game stores carry various things. You know, we have the collectible card games, RPGs, miniatures, and board games. And as I said, this store in particular has a lot of board games and a lot of miniature games. And I just found this stuff to be fascinating to go through and see all the different things. Miniature games is not necessarily Warhammer, but all kinds of miniature games. Here you can see a bunch of historical games. And we have there was World at War and things like that. At the counter here you can see, of course, the collectible card games. There's going to be people who want the latest Commander Pack for Magic or whatever you call those boxes of Pokemon stuff that people buy that are fairly expensive. Here are some more books and things. I see some Flames at War. Flames at War is a pretty big miniature game um, with different, you know, it's based on more modern warfare as opposed to Warhammer 40K, which is based on like futuristic warfare and things like that. Dice. Sorry. If the store is selling dice, I'm always going to go take a look at the dice. All right, board games. So board games is a big part of this store. You can see they have some, look at all that Marvel United sitting there. And so there's a lot of different board games. There's a kids section in the front. You can see a bunch of Haba games, which, you know, if you someone's coming to look for kids game, that's where I'm going to point them immediately. Um, there's puzzles because the the cross section of puzzles and board games. There's a lot of people who buy both. I've never seen these 4D puzzles before, so that's kind of neat. I wonder if you can hang those on a wall or if the things sticking off of it would poke people as they walk by. I don't know. These are the things I think about when I look at puzzles. But they have a lot of board games here. Um, some of the board games uh, were set up in alphabetical order. Other board games were set up as these are new. Hot board games. You can see several of the ones. I recorded this in the year 2022, and many of these games are hot new games um, over the course of that year. This is the main walkway here of board games. So this is the back aisle of the store. And on your right, all those games were in alphabetical order. So if you're looking for a specific game, you could find it. And more board games. Uh, whenever you, I know a lot of people when they see board games like this, Oh, it just makes you want to pick them off off the shelf and look at them. And I like that. I think that uh, stores should have a wide variety of games for people to look through. Over here, some more of the kids' games and party games. And happy party game. That's interesting. And then puzzle, like I said. And ooh, let's get lost in the garden. Okay. Anyway, this is the shelf that I had told you earlier is alphabetic order. You can see there's D and E. And then moving on to F and G. And what's next? Oh, more G. Anyway, lots of different games and some old games that I haven't seen for a while right next to some brand new games. Look, Imperial Assault. So if you want Imperial Assault, here's a store to go hunt it. Um, up near the front of the store, of course, the hottest games. You see Viticulture World, the new expansion for Viticulture, Cosmic Encounter, Cosmic Odyssey that just came out. Then there was a section of best-selling games, or almost like a gateway game or family games, where we have Azul and Ticket to Rides and games like that, which is great. Someone comes, what's popular? That's where you point them towards. 
So lots of great board games throughout the store. But you know, one of the things that really impressed me about this store was its emphasis on miniature games. So there's a lot of board games, and here you can see a bunch of small games up in these different areas. Um, some of some of these are hotter new games, but some of them are also smaller games or party games that don't fit with the other games. But this store had a lot of miniature stuff. So the obvious things like X-Wings miniatures. Um, here you, you can see Battletech. Um, man, when I saw these, I wanted to get them for no reason. But every miniature store is going to need paint. And there's just something about this. I'm not a painter, um, but obviously everyone at the Dice Tower except me and maybe Mike Paint. Everyone paints here. So just neat to see all the different kinds of paints organized here. And if you're looking for different colors, well, here you go. Um, yeah, more paint. Looking at all the paint. This is the sort of thing that I just really like looking at. But the one thing I want to talk about this store is the terrain. So this is a box in the back of the store that was filled with trees. And now we're going to take a look at these shelves. This store had a big area to play games in. And then just tons of terrain. The owner, Shane, told me that when he gets new terrain, for whatever reason, one piece gets to go into this collection here. And so... When I was playing Warhammer 40K, one of these shelves would have just made me so happy to own. And there is, I don't know, like 40 of these shelves. There is so much terrain here that if I was a miniature gamer, a hardcore miniature gamer, I would come here and just always be playing, always be grabbing, looking at all this terrain. I mean, if you see down there at the bottom, just a bunch here of buildings. If you're playing maybe the, the Marvel miniature game, these trees look like they're from Endor, or some sort of futuristic planet. Here we have different buildings. You could use them for a Western miniature game or yeah, anything. And there's just so much of this stuff, folks. It's, it's like, for me, it's like when I went to my friend's house. I mean, look at all those trees. There's just tons of trees there. This is like when I went to my friend's house when I was a kid and he had all of the toys. This is exactly how this felt to me when I went in here. This, I mean, I literally was like, if someone wanted to play a miniature game with me right now, I would be very tempted to do so. So um, this, I've never seen at any other store in my life. That, had, that I mean, I've seen stores have terrain. I've seen stores have a lot of terrain, but I've never seen a store have as much terrain as um, this store does. It's just unbelievable. And I'm tall, so this shelf is above my height. Actually, I held my hand up there with the camera, and you can just see there's so much. Down here at the bottom, these are big, giant uh, trays that you can put together, and it's a really fast way to put terrain on the table. They're plastic trays with terrain on top of them. And then you set those up on a table, and then you have this vast amount of other stuff. Look at all of that. So terrain was a neat thing, and man, just so much to look at. And... I'm going to look at more terrain here. You might say, Tom, you're just really going overboard on the terrain, and you would be correct. So, hmm, neat. Look at all that. Now, some of you might be board gamers, and I love board games as much as the next person, but yeah, lots of terrain. So let's move past the terrain a little bit and jump now to the back of the store here, where this is the library of games that you can play. And this is, again, there's, they're moving, so you see the stuff in front of it, like ladders and things. But this was only a portion of the games they have in their gaming library. They have a huge gaming library to play games in. And, um, man, they had new stuff, old stuff, and nice big tables for people to play games at. And they had two different gaming areas where you could game. This is the one near the front of the store, and there was another one in the back of the store. So those tables are big, giant tables for miniature gaming, but just a lot of games to play all over the place. So um, fantastic store. We had a fantastic time. The owners were just marvelous to talk to. I had a lot of fun looking around the store at all the different games, and the miniature part just kind of astounded me. Um, the... The, the store had different restaurants near it, easy to go to, easy to walk to and eat. It was in a nice location, nice parking lot. I was very impressed. So if you're ever in Indianapolis, I can most highly endorse going to Family Times Games. It's a wonderful place to check out, and we're glad that local game stores like this exist.
Anyway, just thought I wanted to show that to you all. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching yet another wonderful local game store on the Dice Tower.